Hello out there, my name is David Showande. You are welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, turn on the notification bell so that you miss a video from me. You are welcome once again to my YouTube channel. There is a post I saw on Twitter which I want to react to of a man that was advising his son on the choice of whom to marry. So, I will be reading the story and I will also react to it. The name of the man on Twitter is known as Ola. So this is what he wrote. He said, I told my son yesterday to avoid dating a girl from a poor background. In my dating experience, most of them don't believe in love. They just want to escape their unfortunate conditions. More so, they are the saviors their families are banking on to leave them out of poverty. Here, this man was advising his son not to marry a girl from a poor home because girls from poor home doesn't believe in true love. What they after is money. And when money vanishes, they also take to their heel. This theory is neither here nor there. Yes, it is partially true and it is partially wrong. Some parents who are poor and they have female child, what some of them do is that they pray that the young girl should be impregnated in time so that that body will be taken off them. She will just leave the home and go and marry the person that impregnated her. Yes, some parents are of this mindset. Some people see take care, see try to push hard to make sure that they give their female children some the education so that they will become somebody great if this young man should take this advice but along the line the girls that are coming his way they are from a poor background what are we really handle it what of if the rich girls that are coming the way of this young man what of if they are not in love with him what of if they turn him down they say no to his proposal so who will this young boy finally marry if all the rich females who are coming is turn this young man down they say you are not my stuff i can't marry you and again if the children of rich people are marrying themselves how would wealth circulate in our society and again if rich people are marrying themselves how are we going to eradicate poverty in our environment how are we going to eradicate poverty in our society and if wealth does not circulate development will not come in so and again how will the society develop if wealth does not circulate so there are many things that people believe about love some ladies believe that if a man does not beat them the man does not love them so when a man beats them it truly shows that the man loved them this man is saying that poor girls don't believe in love they are only after your money and it is obvious from what this man is telling his son that all the poor people that this man dated while growing up were after his money not true love so because a black man offend a white man does that make all black men are bad no so because this man when he was growing up he dated poor girls and the poor girls were after his money and this man come to conclusion that most poor girls don't love but what they are after is your money but i believe true love exists irrespective of one's background so if the rich people are marrying themselves how would wealth circulate in our society and again if rich people are marrying themselves how are we going to eradicate poverty in our society and again if rich people are marrying themselves how are we going to put an end to theft in our society how are we going to put an end to stealing in our society i believe true love exists irrespective of one's background my name is david show and please do not forget to like comment subscribe also turn on the notification bell so that you miss a video from me